Hello guys, hello, 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 hello. I'm just so happy to, you know, to be on the screen today because it's always behind the scene you guys see every time. Yes, at least you can see from what I've showed you, I've been very, very busy. And um, so I thought, let me show my face today now, eh? So that all those subscribers that have just subscribed, so that they will see my beautiful face. So guys, you're welcome back to the channel. My name is AJ of Honey's Kitchen and Lifestyle. I hope you guys are good. If you're here for the first time, thank you so much for clicking. And please don't make it your last. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you. Thank you. You are all the reason why I'm still on YouTube. Yes, you are all the reason why I'm still creating content. I promise you guys that this year, I have to be consistent on this channel. Yes. Please don't forget to drop a comment for me down below. And please give this video a massive thumbs up. And what again? To share me out. So, what is it? Today, I'm not going to be cooking anything. I'm just going to be cleaning the kitchen. I've showed you guys all the things I've been doing anyway. <laughs> yeah, I did a lot of, you know, cook, cleaning up right now because yesterday was a, was a, what would I say? Was a run for my life, run for my kitchen as like, I was so, so busy. So I couldn't do all the cleaning before I went to bed. So I thought, okay, like this morning, let me quickly do it because I'll be showing you guys everything that goes on behind the scene in the kitchen, especially when orders come in, how I prepare it and how it is being taken to uh, my customers, how I, you know, do all the packaging, like, like, yeah, do all the packaging. So it's going to be like from when I start the kitchen until I close, um, 12 midnight yes that's what time the kitchen closes so you'll be seeing everything i'm going to be showing you like see, like everything so let me show you the rest of what i've been doing today like the cleaning <laughs> so guys please make sure you stay tuned please don't go away please make sure you watch this video to the end thank you so much let's get right into it so guys, the first thing I did as soon as I dropped my son in school, I came back home and I started doing all the cleaning because yesterday Sunday was so busy in the kitchen. My husband and I were really, really busy. So what we wanted to do was just hit the bed and sleep. So cleaning of the kitchen this morning was the first thing that was on my mind because I would like I wouldn't like it when the order starts coming in, then I'll be struggling with um you know cleaning and at the same time um getting the orders ready so after washing all the dishes i had to clean the microwave it's very very important because when the microwave is dirty you won't want the residue of what you've you know done previous day to start smelling in the new you know the today's um order so i've got two microwaves one on the right side and one on the other, uh, left side the one on the right side is bigger than the left side so the bigger one is the one i'm doing now so i finished cleaning and i'm getting ready to start taking orders for the day so guys let's get started. so guys you are welcome back i finished doing all the dishes and i'm going to be putting all the dishes back in their respective places so and then i will go and relax since you see our order is already coming in yeah oh yeah Yes, I haven't even you know get gotten ready to start um, resting when the order started um, coming in. So this is how it comes in. This is the machine, and the slip comes out like this, and it tells us what the order is, and it has given us a stipulated time. So I've got five orders here, and it's giving me fifteen minutes. So the time frame to prepare this order is what is you know kind of tricky because sometimes some of these food are frozen and you have to warm them and the time is ticking is a ticking time bomb and you just want to rush and at the same time you want to put um, the packaging into consideration so guys i spent a lot of money in the packaging of all my um, food that i send to my customers is very very important because the way they receive the food is the way they will always want to come back your your customer service is very, very important in any business that you are doing. So this is how it is. I will package it and I will 
staple it put some um, necessary um, co- um sorry for, uh, sorry cutleries inside and i put some um, savia it's toothpick and everything so you can see this is you know the the um others keeps coming in so let me tell you what i'm doing here so here i'm setting the cutlery because this um person has actually asked for cutlery so they asked for jello fries white rice and ayamashi and um atadidi so when it is warmed i will make sure that i put them in paper bags because i don't want it to spill by the time it gets to them and i always tell the drivers please be very careful because you obviously don't want the whole thing to be soggy and I put my plantain inside this, um, it's called biodegradable um, um, food packaging. It's very food friendly. I think I've said it in one of my videos. It's very good and it keeps the food very warm. So in here, I've got some um, goat meat assorted stew, which I've done and I've put it in paper bags. So this next order is jollof rice um, and plantain. And um, they want um, amala and... Um, is it yeah no no sorry they wanted them um, beans um atadidi yes and jello fries so you can see all the packaging see packaging is very very necessary and very very important i mean it says the kind of the person you are in in whatever you do so i mean when they get it and they look at it they'll say yes i mean this person actually knows what he or she is doing <laughs> so guys that is how i work every day um so sometimes when i am um when i'm cooking when is my cook day i still do this in between and it's always very those days are very hectic for me so here is the atadidi and i'm going to be prepping um pre with the white rice so you can see the serviettes and I've, they've added uh, asked for cutleries so i'm going to add it together and they've also asked for um spicy gizzard which i'm going to do a separate video for you guys to see how i make my spicy gizzard it's very very nice so um yes that is basically what i do guys i hope you guys are enjoying it please make sure you give me please rate this video <laughs> rate my services okay i will say rate my services uh, in the in the um comment section below and rates how i package do you think this packaging is good or do you think i should do more please let me know so um you can see basically this the orders are always almost the same see there are a lot of hungry people out there and i'm always so happy to you know provide this uh, provide my services to them so i will call my restaurants a virtual restaurant because they actually don't know where i am the only thing is that they can see me on delivery so here they requested a soup and honestly i didn't have i thought i had some left so i had to explain to them in writing and just like they should get a refund back from the app anyway this is how i do the the slip comes out in twos i keep one for my own record is very very important see money is very important so so that at the end of the day i'll be able to calculate and see what i have made for the day so it's back and forth back and forth so here i'm the only one doing it because my husband is is um is going to work so when he's around he helps me out so this is pounded yam and they're having it with um a foriro so i make sure that the pounded yam is well you know cooked and i will wrap it and i'll still wrap it in a paper bag to keep it warm so when they haven't come to collect their food and that the driver is uh, the driver hasn't um they haven't allocated the driver for this job i put it in the oven to keep it warm so that is the um pounded yam that i'm you see then because i do a lot of i do the different soup so i've got you can see that green um sticker on it so i have stickers for different soups so that when i'm looking for them in the freezer i won't have to scatter all my freezer so guys you know i told you guys i wasn't going to cook but at the end of the day i had to make jello fries the jello fries i made yesterday sunday had finished so i had to make some more so guys i'm a very very busy person i like it i enjoy it 
I think it's just my life. I love it so much. So if you know anybody in London, in Dagenham, in Essex that need food, please make sure you tell them. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I've inspired you. If you're looking to open a restaurant, please be inspired by my video. Thank you so much. Write a comment for me and I will see you right in my next video. Bye.